at heart, at my core. I'd never stop being that Detroit kid with a chip on his shoulder, out to show the world that ordinary people from ordinary places could, given half a chance, do extraordinary things. Had I succeeded? More than I dared to hope, less than I dared to dream. In the years after leaving Lookout, especially when the label began running, the, running into trouble, I devoted an unhealthy amount of energy to speculating about what I'd do differently if I were still in charge. It wasn't until Chris helped me to see things from his point of view that I was able to fully accept where I'd been at fault, how my cowardice and weakness had led me to abandon one of the best and most amazing things I'd ever done. Quitting when I did it felt like an act of self-preservation. I honestly believed my sanity was at stake and perhaps even my life. Whether that was true or if I was just being overdramatic and self-indulgent, I'll probably never know. But when people ask, as they often do, how such a shining success story could have gone so horribly wrong, I'm pretty forthright about admitting I gave up, walked away, and let it. It would be as arrogant of me to claim full responsibility for Lookout's failure as it would be to take full credit for his success. I may have played a, a crucial role, but I was only one of hundreds of people who participated in the label's rise and fall. Maybe more to the point, Lookout was probably never going to be one of those institutions that takes permanent root and prospers down through the ages. Epitaph's Brett Gerowitz had a nice way of putting it. Record labels never really go away. Stax Records is still there for us to enjoy. Sun Records might not exist, but on some level it will always exist. Lookout Records is a moment in time that was wonderful. Ultimately, Lookout will be remembered not for how long it lasted or how big it got, but for the quality of what we accomplished. Everyone knows about the Lookout alumni who went on to sell millions of records, win Grammy Awards, and reshape popular culture. But as proud as I am of them, I'm just as proud of the professors and urban planners, the social workers, the shopkeepers, the scientists, artists, writers, and engineers who crawled out of our tempestuous little tide pool. And the mothers and